This is Pat Salver with the Dr. Ways In, and I have a really interesting guest with me here today, Yane Pilvis. Did I get it right? Yes. I did? Right. Okay. Yes. So, you know, I spoke Swedish last week and now I speak Finnish. This is great. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> and he is the Consumer Experience Director for a company called My Own Tech. And it's an interesting play on words because this company is all about measuring the EMG, the electrical activity of the muscles, which in medical talk uh, we call myo, right? So my own tech and myo. Um, so, uh, Yane, uh, uh, we had a chance to talk before, and you were telling me that the product is already in use with professional athletes like the Pittsburgh Penguins. Can you tell us a little bit about exactly um, what the product is doing and how these professionals are using it to improve their performance? Yes, so what we are doing with the compressive shorts, we have the sensors inside and those are measuring EMG, as you mentioned. And, and that's helpful in, in, uh, for training centers or teams if they want to improve the technique, for example, and improve the performance. So what they are really um, <coughs> doing, improving the technique and performance for the athletes, top athletes, but also to prevent to injuries. And so it measures, my understanding is that these shorts, and maybe you can pick them up and just show us, uh, have embedded in them sensors that can pick up electrical activity both in my quads and in my hamstrings and it can measure the balance between the quads and the hamstrings but also the balance between the activity on my left side versus my right side so show us a little bit about what these look like i thought these were your sensors but you said this is just design yeah. where are the sensors yeah so these are designs as, uh, as you can see and the sensors are inside so here we are measuring the quads so these ones and then the hams are here. So the sensor is measuring the ha hamstrings. We are taking the, all the data to, to the model what we will attach on you know, the front. And actually that's, that's the way how you use it. You just put the change on and then attach the model and open the mobile application and then you go. And so this is picking up that activity. So does the athlete understand what to do with it or does this take a professional trainer who can interpret it and say, uh, hey, Yana, you're too much on your right side, you're using your quads, you're not using your hamstrings. Um, how intuitive is it for a professional athlete? Yeah, so, uh, in, well, like NBA players in LA Lakers, for example, what the NBA players, they are, when they are using the shorts, they have the physio with them. So the physio will interpret it and, and analyze uh -huh. what is the data and what are the The physio moves. being the trainer? Yeah, uh -huh. the medical trainer. So, uh, so... So what he can do, he can really adjust the program, really personalized pro program. That now, if you have like loose hips or shortened leg, left leg, uh -huh. he, he can tailor made the program, training program, specifically for for him, for example. And so, um, this has been out there for what a year with the professional athletes. Yes. So what um, what kind of results have you gotten? What are you hearing from the professional athletes? I, I used to be a loser, and now I'm off the bench and I'm <laughs> winning. <laughs> what are you hearing? Yeah. It's been surprising that uh, that the increasing demand and need is in the rehabilitation, actually. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, okay. So we thought that we will give them a you know solution to improve the technique and performance, but they want to have it in rehabilitation. So I got my injury, and now I'm trying to get back as quick as I can yeah. so I can get back in the game, yeah. and I can use this yeah. to um, make sure that I've got the balance that yeah. I need. And you are training the right muscles. You are not compensating with the other leg, for example. Or ah. If you have ACL operated on the left side, you are not compensating with your uh, right leg. Okay, great. And we're going to demo that in a little bit, but I thought what we would do now is just to have you tell them what you want them to do on, with respect to your Kickstarter campaign. So yeah, it uh, would be very nice to have your support. Uh, visit our website, look at the video that tells what is what is all about, what is our message. So, uh, and if you like it, share the share the link, share the video, and and back. So there's uh, plenty of pledges still. We have been alive two days, and and we we want to have this product out. So we want to reach the target. Okay, good. So people can give you money, they can back you, and they'll get the product when it's ready? Yes. Okay, fantastic. What we can see here in user interface is um, total muscle load. 
So uh, this is telling how much my quads and hams on both legs uh, are, are working. So if I'm standing, it's quite uh, low, and, and this is MA means muscle activation, which means uh, which is coming from the M one MA is 100 micro microvolts. But if I start to run, you can see that my total muscle load is rising. So if I'm running like uh, normal uh, early early morning run, it's it's a bit more than 100 MA per minute. And and when I have run uh, when I have run something like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, this will decrease. So meaning that then my muscles are warmed up. And then I can start a bit hard training if I want, or then I just continue the, the morning run. What else you can see here is actually a threshold. Here is my level, I have put 150. Uh, we know already based on the scientific research that EMG is correlating the lactate level. So we can, we can now already start to find what is the threshold. Uh, a personal threshold in, in each um, exercise. But in the future, I would like to see that we all, all already can, can say what is the daily lactate level or the training levels. So that's why we are aiming in, in our embody coach. Yeah, you can see uh, here also the uh, intensity, in intensity and, and then compare the training, uh, for example, if you are doing the same morning run. Here in this user interface, you can see the balance between the left and the right side. So if I'm standing still, you can see that my left side is a bit lazier than the right side. But if I'm doing some uh, exercise on the, on the left side, you can see that the activation rise and then the right side is relaxing. And then on the right side, some exercise and left side is relaxing. This uh, balance should be within 5%. If it's not, then you have some hidden, hidden uh, problems that, that might need some fixing or an, uh, at least expert like physio to analyze what is the root cause behind that. So uh, we know already that the team players, for example, 75% uh, of their lower body injuries are, are because of the imbalance. So this is quite important thing for the athletes to have the data and the information that are, if you are in imbalance or in balance. What else we can see here is that when we have this kind of round user interface telling that the 100 is the maximum, uh, now you can see that my quads are working 30 percent each out of the 100, while my hams are working the rest. So when I'm standing still, usually the hams are, are working, of course, more than the quads. But if I start to run, uh, I have usually, well, when, I, when I first used this, I used much more uh, quads than the hams. So, 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 so my quads was 60% uh, each and the hams uh, 40. When the top runners have 40, 60. So then I, they are using the backside of the leg like hams, gluteus and, and calves more than the uh, quads. So this will give you information to improve your technique. So and when you can improve the technique, you can improve your performance.